Madrid, Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and welcome back to another rapid fire critique where I take 10 of your photos and give them a critique or critiquerson. Now, before I do that, I want to let you know this video is brought to you by me and my gear vault. If you haven't downloaded my gear vault just yet, it's the best way to input, organize, and protect your gear. And it's absolutely free. Go download it at mygearvault.com for iOS. And it's coming soon at the end of June for Android. So let's get into this right now. We've got my best 10 photos from Brian Hissim. All right, critique time. We have a black and white image. Let's see what this was taken with. Canon EOS, EOS 5D Mark III with a 51.8. Now I do like shots like this. I love black and whites. I love the fact that it uses the hairdresser, right? Yeah, yeah, this guy right here out of focus but it draws you in over the shoulder to what's going on here. Plus there's so much depth going on inside of this image. You can see, as we can see the other people in the background getting their hair done, also their reflection, the TV, all of the different things, as well as the wall that's over here. So there's so much depth in this image. That's what I absolutely love in this photo. Uh, black and white's cool. The depth is what wins. And I look for that in images when I'm taking them. What kind of, what can I do to make a two-dimensional image medium look three-dimensional? And that's exactly what happened here. So this is a winning shot. Moving on to the next one. This is with an EOS 5D Mark III, 24 to 1. Okay, so first things first, what jumps to my head with this is I hate the fact that I see the photographer over here in the right-hand corner. That to me, well, it bothers me. And the other thing that bothers me is the horizon. It's straight, it's perfect, there's nothing wrong with that. But what actually bothers me is the fact that it's centered and it's causing distress in my brain. Now, if you were to go ahead and do a creative crop more along this way into something more panoramic, I think that could work. And yes, creative cropping is something that I'm okay with if it's thought out and it benefits the image in the, in, well, I think it would benefit the image in this case. Or if you wanted to keep the regular aspect ratio, let's see how close I could get to the regular. You know, I, I, you have less at the bottom than you do at the top, and I think that would make it a better image. Also, it's too flat. So it's a very flat image, not a big fan of it. Moving on to the next one. Cows taken with a Fuji X100T. I don't like it at all. I don't like the crop at all. The X100T shoots a APS-C size sensor, and this is just a snapshot of cows, and that seems to be the going thing with the Fuji cameras. Though they make great cameras, people think they're the saving grace to the world of cameras and photography, and I just think that they're very limiting. And in this case, this picture is not very good cutting off the hooves, cutting off the head over here, doing all of that different stuff, not a big fan of it, so I'm gonna move on to the next shot. Now this is even better. Now this is done with the 5D Mark III, again, 24 to 105 F4. I can live with this, it's an overpass. There's, I like the black and white. We've got the leading lines, they're drawing you through and down the image. It's completely full of this overpass, and that works for me. That works in this case. Is it the most interesting photo in the world? No, but it works. Moving on to the next one. Very nice portrait of these kids, 5D Mark III as well. The only thing, my only criticism, and you can see that they're brothers, they kind of have the same face going on. The only criticism is the foot. Cutting it off at the bottom, there's a little too much headroom. In this case, bringing it down just a little bit would make for a better image in my opinion. Just checking to see where the kitty is because he's been meowing. Um, it's a great shot. It's one of those shots that the family would remember forever. Uh, I would drop it down a little lower. And that's what I would do with that one. Moving on, Philadelphia! No EXIF data for this one. So this is the ugly side of Philadelphia, the ass side of Philadelphia. Actually, it's not. I live over here. I live back here n near this steeple-y thing. But this is the waterfront, which isn't very good looking, but they're trying to revitalize it, and hopefully they do. Uh, not enough, it, it, there's not enough in this image to make it interesting. And what I mean about that is the, is the composition. 
what lens? Uh, well, we don't have that information. Yes, you've got the bridge, and yes, you've got these things, and yes, you've got these ugly-ass buildings, and I think one of them's a Hilton. No, it's not. Uh, over Maybe it is. Over here. But the interest of the city is here. It's in that area. So either get closer to the Ben Franklin Bridge, which is, I believe, which one this is, more to the right on the banks, and that way you could get more of the city in there and still get the bridge in there if you would like. I just think it's more of a snapshot across the river, so I'm not really a big fan of it. Um, just and, and it's centered again and, and all of that stuff, so moving on. Yep, all right, we got a lion. Not much going on there. It's a lion. So this is what I'll say about the lion-type shot. I used to do the same thing. These tight shots are fine. Usually they're done at the zoo and you're getting distractions out of the way and the dog, the dog, the cat is sleeping and you take a tight shot of it, but there's no interest in it. And I'm not saying, I'm saying what I am saying is I've done the same thing. I'm not gonna call it a mistake, but I shot everything super tight and it wasn't interesting after a while. Yeah, it's a great shot of a lion if you were in Africa which I don't know if you were, can't say that you weren't, but I'm not a big fan of the shot. It's just, it's just plain and boring. That's what you kind of get at the zoo if it was at the zoo. That's what I think about that. Moving on. All right, that's a little better. Uh, what do we shot with this time? Why no exif? Oh, anyway. Oh, it says it right here. Oh, look, a Fuji X-T2. Yay, another Fuji. It's a fun little camera. I did do a five minute portrait with that slash real world review. I like this. I like the tones, super high contrast. I like the longer exposure, I believe, to get the water to blow out, uh, get that ghosty looking effect. I like the horizon in this one much better. I love the fact that this log is down here, which draws you into the image. Like it cuts off the bottom of the frame and doesn't take away, for me at least, the image, anything from the image. I love these trees sticking out of the water. So really like that photo. Moving on to the next one. Yeah, and I'm, uh, let's see, Fuji X-T2 again. I mean, this is Philly. It's uh, independent, not Independence Hall, that's uh, City Hall. That's William Penn at the top, Billy Penn. And I am not a fan of this shot because I know Philly. And this is one of the spots where every bride takes a photo. Everybody stops to take a photo. This is just a snapshot that you were out getting while you were walking one day. Uh, yeah, slow shutter speed. You got the cars going by. Cool. Just, it's a boring shot. A bunch of cars parked on the street. A couple of cars moving. Uh, not straight looking sidewalks right here in the center. I don't really have a lot to say that could make this better. Uh, also, the lines aren't straight. I can see it right now that the William Penn is tilting more this way, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, there's not much I can say to make a shot in this situation much better because it's so overdone in this area. Yes, brides love it, and that's what they pay you to do, but in this case, this is more of a snapshot, and I don't like it at all, and I'm, 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 I'm hurting to give feedback because I'm not really doing a good job about it. Uh, looks like we got the Fuji X-T2 again, so somebody really likes their Fuji X-T2. F6.4, I don't know how that's even possible. Oh, 55 to 200 lens, oh snap. So I couldn't figure out what was going on. Is this guy smoking a joint or a cigarette? I mean, it says, relaxing in Chinatown. So it's relaxing in Chinatown, but, but what it doesn't give, hey kitty, come here. Psst. What it doesn't give me is any context into anything. So I don't really know what's going on in the image. Hey, Kitty, come on, you can pop up. I hear you, you're meowing. Right, you're meowing. So there's no context. You, if you didn't say it was Chinatown, I wouldn't know it was Chinatown. So what I don't like about it is, I mean, just about everything, because it, there's no interest, in my opinion. Um, so coming back to here, I like the tones, I like the contrast, I like what's happening, but there's no, there's no interest. Give me the wider shot. I know you have the 55 to 200 on there. I've seen you have the wider lens for the Fuji. It just, it just doesn't do it. I want to see some context. I want to see some, I want to see what's going on in the image. If it's Chinatown, then show me that area and capture that image that way. But even in a photo story, I don't know that this one works. Well, we're not actually in a photo story, so uh, that's it, guys. That's the rapid fire critique this time. Uh, they sent me their best 10. The first shot is one of the best. This one of the kids is really good. This one and this one. So one, two, three, four, four and a half out of 10 in terms of quality. Now that's not 
terrible. I would get rid of the moo cows. Uh, th this shot down here is boring. I mean, I already said that stuff. So, I mean, that's pretty much where I'll leave it. If you'd like to submit your best 10 images, go to bit.ly slash fro critiques. You could submit your best 10 images either as a Flickr on Flickr, or you could use 500 pics, or whatever it is that you would like to use. And don't forget to check out my Gear Vault. It's the best way to input, organize, and protect your gear. Please download it. It's free. If you have iOS, go ahead and get it. Android will be out at the end of June or around there, then you can get it. But I know once you download it and start using it, you're going to love it. And that's where I'll leave it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.